Yeah, like these players in these like online weeklies that like or, yeah. I've not seen. But come on, TEC, see how we go here. Ah, Sceptile. I was actually having a discussion with Kamal earlier about which character he wants to go. He wasn't sure. You know, Kamal plays like everyone, right? Yeah. And I think we said a lot of Sceptile because just good neutral pokes, good range. He's able to kind of get it. Like, Sceptile is able to bounce around and keep up with the speed of Sizzle. Yes, he's, sure too, yeah. he's got some good low profile options to get into the counter attack. He can play the mid range just as well as Sizzler can, which is a range that most people in the matchup struggle with. He's gonna be very careful though about that lead play because Scissor is able to just kind of like oh, yeah. it from distances that would look like they're safe, that look like you're punishing, but are actually quite safe. Like Scissor's, Scissor's able to move and weave in and out, which is a lot of his advantage. That like the little CA that he has that's able to like micro move. If you know the spacing of the opponent that you're having and what they have options to, yep. you can you can just kind of do it just at the edge of it. And they go, oh, they're in range. No, they're not. Yep. There's like a danger, there's basically like a danger zone and Scissor just goes, ah, what zone? I agree, yeah. I mean, that's the thing, Scissor just has so many options in every range. Beautiful grow. But yeah, I agree, I think Kamal needs to cool it a little bit with the replays. Get off. Does Scissor not really have an instant option like that? Because I feel the jump is a little, like, the JY is too angled. Like, they won't auto-correct when you jump over. So like, when you cross up like that, do you have anything on landing or just sort of... With Sceptile, not really. Okay. You can, you can auto-correct with JX if you position well, but it's slow enough they can react with CA. Well, yeah. You can even preemptively CA, especially characters like Scissor, can just preemptively CA because you can do anything after, right? But crossing up with Sceptile is more about getting out of the corner or putting yourself in a good position rather than doing an active threat or a mix-up. You're usually trying to bait a defensive option with Punisher. Well, yeah, anyways, Pokemon during that talk, uh, Tech took game one. You want to <laughs> Like I'm all switching it up a little bit. Let's see, what we got. Yeah, something. We're, gonna, we're, we're, we're joking. We're basically just like the I don't care Charizard. <laughs> Dude, I was telling him I think Zard's good in this matchup. Like I know Vandy Star thinks it's 50 50. I think it's probably slightly losing, but I mean she's definitely the expert, not me. But it's I mean, like Zard's 2x. It's low profiles underneath the counterattack. It can stuff everything. It's got phenomenal range, and he can jump or counterattack after it. It's he can play well at that range too. It's definitely tough for Zard because Zard can't move as well as Scizor can, but you have the tools at that mid range. That you also have the trades that like the damage profile works in your favor. Yep, this is also true. Oh, he's a can. I was not expecting you that. Know, you know, I, 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 you let, let him cook. Let him, I agree. <laughs> let, I mean, let, let him cook. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to cook himself and play again. KFC coming through. Diglett, hello? Is this 2016? Maybe. I think he's looking to get, honestly, I feel like Kamal just wants to blast through the uh, CA armor with, like, plays again. Yeah. I know. I, I respect that decision. I, I, you know, this matchup is pretty hard, but, like, sometimes you're just like, I don't care anymore. Yeah. Pick the cover pick. The cover pick will always win every time over the matchup. Almost every time, unless your comfort pick is Blastoise. I mean. Get, get another comfort pick. No, no offense to the Blastoise man. I love y'all. All, all two of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's getting it started now. Got him in the corner. The key way. I, I, oh, that's punishable, brother. They go on. Oh, that's a win. Oh, <laughs> oh, yo, oh he's my. one makes up away. Yo, <laughs> let's go. Oh, he's one. Oh, oh come on. No, I believe. I believe. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Oh, now you have to watch the whole animation. Yo, you have you to sit there and this. think about what you did. <laughs> Bro, Tech was rolling on that game, and then Kamal just I love turned how he, he just came out of nowhere and just opened his mouth in awe. <laughs> oh, Kamal's got the Cresselia. Just, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and Cress. These are 2016 war picks. He's he, Kamal sitting in the, the Brave Moves of Japan, and he's like, "Something's gotta be this." Yeah, somebody got it, bro. In the spirit of Steph McKee and Raid Empire. Yo, the Mega Buster. Try and you're just like, "Oh, you, you look at the Blazer King. You're like, ah, oh, we're safe here." Bam. <laughs> nope. He's in his face. Da -da -da -da. Oh my God! I, for <laughs> I forgot they. Oh yeah, I forgot they buffed it. Uh, because <laughs> that was like one time use. Yep. 
I know, waste the, I want to say, well, like, you're just wasting the timer. I'll place it so fast. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, well, imagine. Hi. Okay, just conceptually, Brave Bird being stopped by ground staples is, uh... Um, yeah, that's kind of rough. Like, I get it. But, come on. Yeah. That was still a close round, though, I mean, all things considered. Yeah, I basically... TEC opting to do that uh, combo and then grab to just extend the timer on it was actually what he needed. Like, neither yeah. player actually used first attack. Oh, I thought. I believe. I know that, I know that attack is like 8Y or 4Y or something like that, but like, it's bug buzz. It, it's, it's spiritually a bug buzz. <laughs> And he just leaves the corner. Okay. He just walks oh, out. Okay. Yeah, sure, just walk forward, right. bro. Give him the corner. All right, cool. All right. Uh, staples are really hard to contest with, yep. especially the character like this. And tech spaces are so clean for them every time. Oh, it's going to be Camel acting burst, because I know for the second that he actually needs burst, he's going to go tick. Tick lit. Tick I respect the Blaziken Vic so I much. Just, 